I'm gonna go talk to Bud. <laughs> <laughs> I read somewhere in the rematch clause where he said he don't know if he'll take it if he lose or when he lose, as you might think. Do you believe him? If I beat the beat the will out of him, he probably won't take it. It's, wow. It's wow. scary how calm y'all talk about taking a man's soul. <laughs> like when I when I go to fight people, like I be loaded up, like this nigga bite my lip. And you be like, yeah, I'ma just uh I'ma just like take everything out of him when he don't even believe in himself no more. Hey, stop that cat. Man down, Errol Spence says Terrence Crawford probably won't take a rematch after he beats the ever-loving snot out of him. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego with some more boxing. So, Errol Spence, that was All Access. Showtime is doing a hell of a job. All Access Episode 2 premieres today. Just in time, Frank Martin is fighting a bronze medalist Olympian. I will be tapped in with that fight tonight on Showtime. So they're pairing, just like when you have a good steak, You some people want to pair a nice wine with it. You get a nice little red wine. You want some chicken and pasta. You get a nice little white wine and pair it with it. That's what Showtime is doing. Should be a fun night of boxing. Victor Postal is on the card. And again, Frank Martin, which is Errol Spence's man down. Stop that cat. Yeah, definitely. I definitely, I believe that, definitely. Right? He's fighting, and then paired with that is the All Access. So that was just a snippet, and that was BTS scenes of Errol Spence. He was on a podcast, the Pivot Podcast to be specific, and they were talking to him about the fight in general. And one of the talking points was kind of what took so long for this fight to come across. And again, it's just a snippet that's out right now, so I haven't heard it in its entirety, but I've seen that portion so there might be more to it so i'll probably make a future video about that but the part i did see errol spence was being like kind of questions about what took so long for the fight to happen that kind of thing and errol spence said because i'm the a side big fish free smoke jr and i know i am when you're talking about popularity putting butts in the seats generating money I'm the A side, I'm that dude, but Crawford somehow believed that he was that dude and he kept bringing up other stuff. So if you listen to Terrence Crawford interviews, this is the problem. And this is what I've said from the beginning. Crawford is telling you what the problem has been. Here's a, here's a difference. Notice when Errol Spence is on a podcast and they're asking him what the delay was. He is Free Smoke Jr. and he's also free speech junior because he's freely speaking about what the delay was because he knows it wasn't him or his side right that's why you hear errol spence saying things like we had to give him more more being to bud we had to give him concessions he wanted more money i was the a side i'm the a side and he was saying he was the a side we've heard terrence crawford in interviews you guys can do the math but if you listen to terrence crawford interviews he talks about oh i I'm the ring magazine champion and I was the lineal champion at 140 and guess what guys I got a SP award and I did this and I moved up more weight classes yada 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 but Errol Spence his comeback he said Crawford wanted all this stuff based on his perceived accolades but Errol Spence's response was beautiful he says you can't take that to the bank like I'm putting butts in the seat and creating commerce i'm making people buy tickets Fifty thousand people are filling up the at&t stadium where the dallas cowboys play Thirty thousand for the ugas fight you know and so on in the pandemic with danny garcia did great numbers him canelo and gervonta did the best gates that particular year right so errol spence is absolutely right he's the a-side in addition he has three belts but Bud Crawford feels like, oh, I got an SB and I moved up more weight. Like no one cares about that when it comes to A-side. That's not how the A-side is decided or deciphered. But enough of that. I'll make a separate video about that so I could really go in. It might even be an unpacked. Listen, the fans run the channel. If you want me to drop an unpack, we unpack coming to you live on that very subject, type the word unpacked or put hashtag unpacked in my comment section 
and scream at me so I know what to work on, you know? But aside from that, the clip you heard at the beginning was a brilliant question by the Pivot Podcast. He said something to the effect of I seen or read. Terrence Crawford says he may not want to rematch after if he loses. And he said, do you think he's just joshing? Do you believe him? Errol Spence, another great comeback. He said, nah, you know, definitely. At the end of the day, if I beat him to a pulp, you know, orange juice, what did Jay-Z say? Orange juice style beat <laughs> to a pulp, right? So he's saying if basically if I beat the wheel and, and skill out of him and he's not the same, he might not really truly want the rematch. And I agree. I think if you look at Errol Spence historically, when he's fighting guys, guys tend to take a lot of time off after fighting him. Danny Garcia, he didn't come back for a minute and then he came back, popped back after the Danny Garcia Errol Spence fight when he lost to Errol Spence convincingly. Other guys that fought Danny Garcia, it was up in the air. Did Danny Garcia win those? It was arguable, it was debatable, right? Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, right? These are debatable fights where some people may have had reasonably, not like some crazy person, crackhead from the street. Somebody with a reasonable boxing brain could have seen Danny Garcia as the victor. When he stepped up with Arrow against Arrow coming off of a long layoff and a car crash, it wasn't even debatable. You couldn't really make the case that Danny Garcia beat Errol Spence. He really didn't even win that many rounds for real, right? Danny Garcia said he was depressed after that, took a long time off. Then he finally moved up in weight and popped back out against Benavidez. Ugas, that's Errol's last opponent. They fought last like April or May of last year. Ugas still ain't been back because of the torture and damage that Errol Spence has done to his eye. Kell Brook, also said that he was depressed and contemplating retirement after he lost to Triple G and he lost to Errol Spence Jr. He thought it was over, nobody loved him and stuff. So why are guys fighting Errol Spence and falling into depression immediately after? So I agree with Errol. If Crawford does lose, then I would imagine if he loses, it'll be similar to other fights that Errol Spence has had. And Errol Spence is telling you that's kind of the game plan. He said, I'm going to break him like Kunta Kinte. I'm going to break his wheels spiritually, mentally, physically. I'm going to break him. He's talking like Bane, right? And he said these things. So I think that's the game plan. So if Crawford were to lose this fight, which I think Errol Spence wins here, then I think it would be per damage. Like he, Errol, you'll, you'll know you've been in a fight with Errol Spence. So yeah, he might not want the rematch afterwards. Let me know what you guys think. If you want that unpacked, put hashtag unpacked or type the word unpacked. I will break this down in further detail. Errol Spence, his stoicism and his level of calm is pretty scary. July 29th, I'm looking forward to it. Subscribe. And I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. 
Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working.